were investigating a homicide uh, that took place at the home of 1297 Furnace Road, uh, Drewmore Township, Lancaster County, uh, sometime in the late evening of August the 17th uh, into perhaps the early morning hours of the 18th. Um, this is a home invasion uh, that uh, resulted in, in the murder of, uh, of Douglas Herr, uh, the homeowner. Um, forced entry was made into the residence. Um, he was shot to death and, and died at the scene. The, uh, the Pennsylvania State Police have been aggressively investigating um, this homicide uh, since they were notified of it in, in the early morning hours of the 18th. Um, their major case team has been deployed, uh, and I know they've been pulling out all the stops uh, to apprehend the person or persons responsible for this. Uh, clearly, this is about as, as dangerous a uh, person as you're going to encounter that's willing to break into uh, someone's home and, and kill them. The, the motive that appears to be at this point in time, uh, based on the evidence we have, is, is theft. So this is someone that's willing to kill uh, for potential valuables uh, and or property or cash. Uh, and, and that person can be classified as nothing but extremely uh, dangerous and obviously depraved. Uh, we have made no arrests. No one is in custody for this. Um, so the person or persons are still out there. Uh, we do want to advise people that we cannot say whether this was random or not at this point in time. So people should take precautions um, and securing their home in the evening. If they do see something suspicious, we encourage them to call the state police. Uh, there, there may be somebody that knows something out there uh, that took place. I'm sure there is someone that knows something. They may not think it's of consequence, uh, but it could, it could uh, lead to obviously uh, the apprehension of this killer or killers and or um, the prevention of, of another incident uh, like this. And that's, that's what the state police are dedicated for uh, and to today, this evening, and they're going to continue to, to be uh, a full court press un until it, we can apprehend uh, the persons responsible for this. They've been working aggressively on it. Um, there are a number of leads. Uh, as I said, though, nobody's in custody. Um, there's no imminent arrest uh, of anybody. Uh, no one's been charged with anything relating to this. So. Um, I, I think that's the extent of what I had uh, prepared uh, other than, you know, obviously our condolences uh, to the family of, uh, of Mr. Herr. Uh, it's a terrible time for them, and um, we'll do the best we can, but uh, nothing's going to obviously bring him back, and, and what we've got to do now is, is, is try to find some justice in this case. Is this unique when people break in and also use yeah, it's pretty rare. I mean, it happens, obviously, and when it does, it certainly uh, gets the attention of all law enforcement as, as well as shocks the entire community. Um, you know, people have a right to feel safe and secure in their home, and, and when people violate that right, uh, particularly when it results in a, in a homicide like this, I mean, it does, it certainly, you know, we're going to zero in on this and, and focus all our assets to make sure that, uh, that we can, can apprehend the person. Um, you know, house burglaries, I always say, uh, are, are some of the most dangerous crimes. You know, most don't result like this, um, but each and every one of them could. And, and breaking into somebody's home, it's, it's such a risk and so dangerous. Um, you know, I've always, it's one of the things I've, I've maintained, and, and maybe you're catching me on a Saturday and, and for working on this, but these people that we catch, even for burglaries where there's no violence that results, we need, they need to be put into state prison for long sentences. And it's, I'm, I'm sick and tired of it that they come in, you break into somebody's house, and they get a few months in jail um, it, compared to some of the other crimes we have. And, and these people, you have to think about breaking into somebody's house. You don't stumble across that accidentally into that crime. It's not a crime of opportunity. Typically, you stake the house out. Typically, they knock to see if somebody's home. They have plenty of time to think about, plenty of time to stop what they're going to do. And then you go in, and it's not done in a second. They're ransacking the house. I mean, obviously, I'm not talking about necessarily this particular case. I'm talking about in general. But I, I, I've always felt that we have not treated those strongly enough in our justice system. And I'll continue to press for more serious penalties uh, for, for those type of cases. This case takes it to a whole other level, um, that not only do you have a forced entry, uh, and, and in the middle of the night, you know a resident's typically going to be home at that time period. The person brought, uh, you know, apparently brought a weapon uh, and or weapons. Um, 
it's it's extremely dangerous, and and you know we we've got to find these people.